You're welcome back to the gavel. The Senate, too, is introducing a national health emergency bill for first reading a week after the House of Representatives gave accelerated hearing to the controversial infectious diseases bill sponsored by the House of Rep Speaker, Mr. Femi Bajabi Amila. Now, Senator Chukuka Utazi from Enugu State is the sponsor of this bill. The upper chamber is also launching an investigation on the status of 5G communication network in Nigeria and its technological impact on its citizens. Senators standing in honor and appreciation to Nigerian health workers on the front lines of the battle against COVID-19 and also for those who lost their lives to the virus. According to the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, over 100 health workers have contracted the virus. COVID-19 remains a critical health emergency in Nigeria, and this informs the decision of the Senate to introduce the National Health Emergency Bill for first reading. To investigate... The bill comes a week after the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Femi Bajabiamila, sponsored the Infectious Diseases Bill, which has elicited strong criticisms in the public space over sections of the bill, which some say places too much power on the NCDC chairman and promotes compulsory vaccinations. Privileges. But former Deputy Senate President wants to see the details of the bill. I want to ensure that we don't go the same route that's happening in the House of Reps. So I'd like to know the details, probably a summary of what this bill is all about, or possibly get a copy of the gazetted uh, uh, form. Okay, they are distributing now, so you can have a copy. And let me also say that we're not taking second reading today. However, speaking to journalists, the sponsor of the bill makes some clarifications. No, it doesn't make a vaccination compulsory. There's nothing. Because we who have yellow fever in this country here. It's not, it's not compulsory. There's nothing new we are trying to... Uh, bring up to that uh, doesn't exist. Meanwhile, another issue which has dominated public discussions recently is the alleged link between 5G and coronavirus. However, the Nigerian Communications Commission has clarified that there is no link between 5G and the coronavirus and there is no deployment of 5G in Nigeria at the moment. Nevertheless, a federal lawmaker is seeking a probe on the status of 5G network in the country and a motion is supported by her colleagues. The Senate is desirous of investigating the true status of 5G network in Nigeria to ensure that Nigerian citizens are not exposed to an unreasonable risk of great body injury or harm. The Nigerian government through NCC or Federal Ministry of Communication should not rush you know, into implementing the fifth generation technology in Nigeria until at least we have some scientific basis upon which we want to proceed. The motion itself is very explicit. This is a very controversial issue that has attracted global attention. Now I think at this point we need experts to look into the issue of the 5G technology. The Senate mandated its committees on communication, public health, science and technology to investigate the status of 5G network in Nigeria and its impact on its citizens. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Femi Bajabi Amila, has expressed satisfaction with the facilities at the This Day Dome Isolation Center in Abuja. The isolation center, which is a 300-bed facility, is the second in the FCT. The speaker was in the company of the new COVID-19 ad hoc committee of the House and chairman of the health committees, as well as the Minister of State for Health, to see the state of preparedness at the centre. He believes that with the quality of the isolation centre, the pandemic will be properly managed in the federal capital territory. What I've seen is beyond what I expected to see. Uh, we all know the dome is a the landmark in Abuja. We've all been here for weddings, concerts, and different things. So what I expected to see perhaps a makeshift, a makeshift isolation center with the various minimum of uh, things. But what we've seen here today is, uh, is uh, like I said, beyond my expectation. It's a, a comprehensive, well-equipped uh, hospital, about 300 bed uh, isolation center. Uh, with the, they've thought about everything, more or less. They've thought about everything. Uh, there's an ICU center, uh, there's a receiving uh, uh, point over there. 
and um, I hear there are TVs coming for all, if you believe it's full to capacity for all 300 uh, patients. This place, anyone here would be comfortable, as comfortable as um, he, uh, he wants to be as a patient. I'm sure with facilities like this, uh, with proper management of, uh, uh, of virus that, has, that seems to have ravaged um, the, uh, the whole world. Let's take a look at more activities in the National Assembly during the week. The Senate is to launch an investigation into alleged financial recklessness by the Interim Management Committee, IMC, of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. So it's not like there is something... The decision by the upper chamber to launch this probe comes after a federal lawmaker, Senator George Sekibo, move a motion alleging that the Interim Management Committee set up by President Buhari to coordinate forensic auditing of financial transactions carried out by the now dissolved board of the commission is embroiled in financial recklessness. The Senate, in carrying out the probe, wants the NDDC to account for the sum of 40 billion naira allegedly spent by the Interim Management Committee of the NDDC within the last three months. The upper chamber subsequently set up an ad hoc committee to look into the financial transactions carried out by the IMC on behalf of the NDDC in the last three months and report back to the Senate in four weeks. There have been large acquisition of receipts of funds by previous management of the Commission, which portrayed the Commission as a financial conduit pipe, especially when the aspiration of the founding fathers have been forsaken. The Senate believes that visible financial recklessness may have prompted the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to set up an interim management committee, IMC, while ordering a forensic audit of the Commission so as to reposition it for its intended mandate. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has resolved to summon the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs over an alleged 40 billion naira spent within two months by the Niger Delta Development Commission. The House is worried that money was allegedly spent without due regard to the Fiscal Responsibility Act. This was sequel to a motion raised by Representative Peter Patterson during Tuesday's plenary. The Interim Management Committee of the NDDC has also been summoned to explain to the House the plan of the Commission to ameliorate the effect of the present economic situation on the region. Alarmed by claims that the Commission has spent over 40 billion in a space of just two months without corresponding effect on the region, 17% of which were allegedly made on emergency projects and completion of Commission's headquarters in buildings without due regard to fiscal governance as encapsulated in the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2007 and other extant financial regulations. Mandate the committee on NDDC to A, investigate all issues relating to misappropriation and misapplication of funds by the commission and report back to the House. Two, conduct a comprehensive investigation into all procurements and financial transactions of the Commission for this fiscal year to ascertain compliance with the relevant provisions of the law. Three, investigate adherence to the Act setting up the Commission in the lay of an engagement of key management personnel. And finally, invite the Supervising Minister of Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, the Interim Management Committee, to explain to the House the plan of the Commission to ameliorate the effect of the present economic situation on the region. But the Minister of Niger Delta, Mr. Gotswil Akbabu, in a statement, says there has been no corruption in the NDDC under his supervision. He explained that the Interim Management Committee has only approved the sum of 18 billion naira for contractual claims and these are contracts awarded by previous administrations. He emphasized that the present management has not awarded any single contract. Now this is where we call it a day on this week's edition of The Gavel. If you have any views on any of the issues discussed, please email us on thegavel at channelstv.com. 
Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week.